saints. I'm at work and I ask that you please forgive the distraction in the back because I work at a college in a dispatch area. Um, the reason why I'm uploading this video right now is because I had a dream last night and I'm going to try to make it quick. I had a dream that I saw, like I was in the United States, right? And I saw um, an African American woman wearing a purple burqa and hijab. And she said something about that she had to sing in the honor of Ramadan, that it was required to celebrate Ramadan nationwide. It was a law. And she started singing in Aramaic or Arabic, I believe. And then there was another group of people that I saw. All the girls were wearing hijabs and burqas in different colors. And then they were asked, do you want to wear a hijab? And they said no, because it's required. Then I saw in the United States different people. They look poor, different nationalities, sleeping on the ground. And when I say sleeping on the ground, I mean like it was on a beach and it looked like I was on a boardwalk and they were sleeping two people per blanket on top of dirt and they were poor. And then they were asked, where's your Allah? And then they said, we, Allah's not supposed to help us. We have to help Allah. We have to serve Allah. Some weird stuff like that, you know. And they said that Ramadan was required to be celebrated nationwide and that Sharia law was in place. And the United States looked like a third world country. I've had dreams about this before, but this looked worse. And these people that I saw that were Muslims, they were different nationalities. Ecuadorian, Mexican, Peruvian, Chinese, Japanese, you name it, every nationality was in the United States. I had reason to believe that, excuse me, I saw the United States under Sharia law. For those of you that do not know what Ramadan is, it's a satanic holiday that Muslims celebrate where they're supposed to fast from June 5th to July 5th. They're not supposed to drink water or um, eat in the public for the whole month. It's a counterfeit satanic fasting for their false god, Allah Satan. In this dream, nobody was drinking water or eating in the public. Every woman was wearing a burqa and a hijab, even if they didn't want to wear it. And every man, you know, had the beard, that dress that they wear as Muslims, and that hat. No offense, but they do look like transgender with that dress on. But um, going back to what I'm telling you, the United States looked like a third world country. Um, I was in a dream. This is what was weird. I was walking, but I didn't have a hijab on or a burqa. And I had, there was these patrols that they had, right? They looked like police patrols to make sure that Sharia law was enforced. So they came up to me and they said, why aren't you dressed in the proper attire? And I said that I worship Jesus Christ, he's my God. And then I was taken away, I was arrested, okay? I believe that that represents persecuted church, those that resist Islam, will be dealt with in the harshest manner, okay? They took me to a location, and all I can see was a blade being placed to my neck, and the dream ended. I'm willing to die for Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not playing games. But this dream, I believe the Lord was telling me that Sharia law is coming to America, and it's only a matter of time.